Hey guys, it's Brian with The Verge. I'm here at an event at GDC 2013 for the Game Stick. It's a $79 Android portable gaming console that plugs into the back of your TV as an integrated controller. We're taking a look here at the UI. Uh, it's very minimalist and clean laid out. Uh, right here featured is the, uh, the Game Stick store. Uh, play Now here, this is the games that are actually downloaded onto your uh, Game Stick yourself so you can play. It has eight gigs of flash storage built in. Uh, and also if you go over here, it also features um, media settings. It has Netflix, it has XBMC. Uh, so you can look at you know, some video stuff as well. It's pretty cool. Um, there's two different controllers they had here tonight. They had a, the dev unit, which is going to be uh, going out to developers this week, and also a, uh, a, an aesthetic prototype with the final design one that's going to be shipping out to, X, uh, to Kickstarter backers uh, next month. That one's the white version. Uh, so let's jump into a game here. This is a game that was actually ported over to the game stick. The company's basically trying to go and bring a lot of developers on board. They hope to have about 20 to 30 games uh, ready for the device when it ships to the Kickstarter backers next month. Right now, we unfortunately weren't able to go and use the uh, the, uh, the dev control. It's not actually working with the game stick I set up today, so we're using uh, a Nika wire controller today. The real deal, we use Bluetooth to interact with the game stick itself. And of course, the uh, controller uh, has a slot that features, uh, that allows the game stick to slot inside of it when you're good to go. It's going to give me some tutorials here so I don't go and uh, do too terribly here. I'm jumping across the building here. It's, a, it's actually a pretty nice experience here. I don't know if you're familiar with the game or not, but uh, it's fun. There's something that's very, very definitely fun about some of these uh, portable Android consoles, similar, similar to the Yuya. There's a retro feel to them that makes them really, really fun as their kind of own subgenre of console. And there I'm dying, that was ugly. We can go again. Um, this device actually undercuts the Yuya about a $79 price point. Um, it's not clear when it's going to be shipping out to consumers for the full version yet, but it's definitely something we'll be keeping an eye on. And this is the Play Jam Game Stick.